the question is the efficiency eta of ordinary am is defined as the percentage of the total power carried by the side vents that is efficiency eta is equals to side vent power upon total power into 100% and first we have to determine efficiency for modulation index mu equals to 0.5 that is 50% modulation and second is show that for a single tone em maximum efficiency is 33.3% at modulation index mu equals to 1 now we solve first part according to the question we have ordinary em that is standard em and its equation is s function of t equals to ac within bracket 1 plus mu cos omega mt into cos omega ct now we open the bracket so we have a two terms ac cos omega ct plus ac mu cos omega mt into cos omega ct in the second term we have two cos omega mt and cos omega ct so we can use two cos a cos b and according to this we first multiply and divide by 2 and we get ac cos omega ct plus ac mu upon 2 within bracket cos omega c minus omega m into t plus cos omega c plus omega m into t now to determine the carrier power we use first term and here the carrier power is p suffix c and it is equals to ac square upon 2 and from the second term we can find side vent power that is equals to 1 upon 2 within bracket ac mu upon 2 square plus ac mu upon 2 whole square because the side vent power is a combination of upper side vent power and lower side vent power and each side vent having a same amplitude that is ac mu by 2 and according to this the side vent power is 1 upon 2 into amplitude square so the side vent power is equals to 1 upon 4 mu square into ac square now the total power is equals to carrier power plus side vent power and it is equals to 1 upon 2 within bracket 1 plus 1 upon 2 mu square into ac square now we can determine efficiency efficiency is the ratio of side vent power upon total power into 100 percent after putting the side vent power that is 1 upon 4 mu square into ac square and total power is 1 upon 2 within bracket 1 plus 1 upon 2 mu square into ac square here ac square is cancelled and we get percentage efficiency equals to mu square upon 2 plus mu square into 100 percent and in the first part the modulation index is 0.5 that is 50 percent modulation and after putting the value of mu equals to 0.5 we get efficiency equals to 11.1 percent and in the second part we have to show that for a single tone am the maximum efficiency is 33.3 percent at 100 percent modulation that is mu equals to 1 for this we again use a formula of efficiency that is mu square upon 2 plus mu square into 100 percent in place of mu we can write 1 and after solving we get 33.3 percent that is the maximum efficiency at 100 percent modulation now next question is a sinusoidal modulated ordinary AM waveform is shown in figure. First is we have to determine modulation index mu. Second is compute the efficiency eta. And third part is we have to find the amplitude of the carrier which must be added to obtain a modulation index mu equals to 0.1. So according to the question the envelope of standard em is given and using this we first find the modulation index mu and its formula is a max minus a min upon a max plus a min here the maximum value is tan 
and the minimum value is 5. So, according to this, the modulation index is 1 upon 3. So, the first part is clear from the figure we determine the modulation index mu according to the formula a max minus a min upon a max plus a min and it is equals to 1 upon 3. Now, we move to the second part. Here, we have to determine the efficiency eta. Here, efficiency eta is in terms of sideband power upon total power into 100%. And similar to our last problem, the efficiency eta is equals to mu square upon 2 plus mu square into 100%. And in place of mu, we can write 1 upon 3 and the result is 5.26%. Now, the third part is we have to determine the amplitude of the carrier which must be added to obtain a modulation index mu equals to 0.1. As we have seen in part 1, the modulation index is 1 upon 3 and to obtain modulation index of 0.1, we have to find the amplitude of the carrier which must be added. Now, we move to the envelope of standard AM and here the maximum value is AC plus AM and minimum value is AC minus AM. In place of AM, we can write mu into AC because we know that modulation index mu is equals to AM upon AC. Also, mu into AC is equals to A max minus A min upon 2 and it is equals to amplitude of the modulating signal. Now, according to the first part, the modulation index is 1 upon 3 and from here, we find amplitude of the carrier that is 5 upon 2 into 1 upon 3 and its value is 7.5 volt because from a given envelope, the carrier amplitude is 5 and AC plus AM equals to 10. So, the amplitude of the modulating signal is 5. So, we use mu AC equals to AM and we get carrier amplitude equals to 7.5 volt. Now, in order to obtain new modulation index of 0.1, we have to determine the new amplitude value of the carrier that is AC dash. For this, we use mu dash AC dash equals to AM. In place of mu dash, we can write 0.1 and we get a new amplitude value of the carrier that is 25 volt. Now, the amplitude which is to be added in order to get modulation index of 0.1, we have AC dash minus AC that is equals to 17.5 volt. So, these are the two problems related to efficiency in standard EM. Now, we look forward for double sideband suppressed carrier EM wave and the problem is a double sideband suppressed carrier modulated signal is demodulated by applying it to a coherent detector. We have to find the effect of a frequency error delta f in local carrier frequency of the detector that is measured with respect to the carrier frequency of the incoming double sideband suppressed carrier signal. Now, the coherent detector or synchronous detector for double sideband suppressed carrier wave is shown in figure and it consists of product modulator, local oscillator and low pass filter. Initially, the double sideband suppressed carrier wave and local oscillator is applied to the product modulator. The output of the product modulator is again applied to low pass filter and we get a output corresponding to the message signal. And we know that the double sideband suppressed carrier wave is AC into MT cos 2 pi FCT and according to the problem, we have to determine the effect of frequency error delta f in locally generated carrier. So, the local oscillator generate a carrier signal having frequency error and it is 
cos within bracket 2 pi fc plus delta f into t and output vt is simply the product of double side wind suppressed carrier and locally generated carrier wave and it is equals to ac into mt cos 2 pi fct into cos within bracket 2 pi fc plus delta f into t here we have two terms of cos function so we can use 2 cos a cos b for this we first multiply and divide by 2 and according to formula we get output v function of t equals to ac upon 2 into mt within bracket cos 2 pi delta f into t plus cos 2 pi into 2 fc plus delta f into t and here the second term correspond to the high frequency and after passing through a low pass filter we get only the first term that is low frequency term and output v0 is equals to ac upon 2 mt into cos 2 pi delta f into t and this is the effect of frequency error delta f at the output of the coherent detector here the output is the massive signal that is modulated by a sinusoidal of frequency delta f.